evening, everyone. Thank you for coming to this uh, Zoom section. My name is Huli Ho, a volunteer conducting IT classes in library at Harbourfront. At this moment, we have converted these classes using Zoom. As the librarian has said, I have this blog. If you are interested in the notes for this session, you can refer to it. If you want advanced copy of the future session, please go to the bottom right-hand corner. There's a word follow. Click on it and submit your email address. So subsequent new posts, you will have a soft copy in your email. Since uh, circuit breaker time, I have conducted 11 topics each two parts. And once completed, the library will extend to me a recorded copy of the session, and I will make it easy for you to click the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel under the YouTube link, and you will have a repeat of the same session, and you can take your time to refresh what I have said on any topics you have missed out or you want to have a better understanding. Now, for today's session, part one, I will do this for access to the internet, how our smartphone is connected to the inter internet, and so on. Part two, I will make full use, how to make full use of the internet. And I think the interested topic for most of you is uh, what experience I've gone through in Singapore with all my friends and my wife's friends that they have trouble and I have paid them a house visit. And of all the experience I have, I will discuss two typical case study and share with you all how simple it is to resolve your Wi-Fi problem. Now, every one of us must have this box somewhere in your house. This is a commitment by the government that each household will have access to the internet. This box, we call it the TP, terminal point. A lot of people don't pay attention to the location of this box. I think for those who have done that, make a very big mistake because as I share with you further, you will understand the reason. It is nothing, it's just a terminal bo box and it is connected to the Singapore underground network of internet cables. And from there, they will do their job to connect all over the world. Now, I think this is a typical home in a graphic form of most houses. You notice, I put the, the group there, that is the internet. And the provider will provide you an ONT. And sometimes ONT and router comes together in one black box. And sometimes are in two separate units. You can check your home and see which version they give you. I think in the olden days, they give two boxes. They give one ONT and router. I think later now, this, they combine two into one and you have smart TV, iPhone, smartphone, iPad, laptop, desktop, and even IoT. Now, in Singapore, optical broadband can be requested from these yellow five companies. These are all the approved licensed company. You cannot get your internet connection from person who are not approved. Unless you are a very big company, you can even put a satellite disk pointing to the satellite. But for normal people like us, we have to go through any of these company. So they are called internet providers. Now, internet providers sometimes also provide contents like Singtel and StarHub. 
But you can also get Netflix, Apple TV, and Disney Plus. All these are paid uh, channel. I will discuss further later. And are you aware that there are two plans in Singapore market now? One, we call that one GP plan. The other, we call it the 500 M plan. The one GP costs about $60 a month. The 500 costs about $30 a month. Most of us senior, retired seniors, I would say the 500 is more than enough. Unless you have uh, many children at home or using internet at the same time, then you may have to get the one GP. But you have husband and wife, or one, one or two children at home, 500 is more than enough. Now, these are some of the things we can do at home if we have broadband at home. It depends on your lifestyle. It depends on your interest. I just select an example only. That is not the limit. That is just a starter just to tell you what you can do free. Yeah? When I'm telling you all these are free, yeah? you can do at home. So let's go page by page. First, if you are interested to know how, why, and all this knowledge and content, you can go through this provider, Wikipedia, TED Talk, even, even our library app also can have a lot of information. Google search is a very good example. To ask any question, you can get answer. Google map, if you want to study humanity, Google map is very useful also. If you have one children staying overseas, you can actually see their house. If you know how to search under Google map. Web medicine is also very useful. What I normally do is uh, when a doctor tell me I'm suffering from this or that, give me a technical name, I will ask the doctor, write it on a piece of paper, and I go home, I will use this app to find out. Wikipedia also can find out a lot of things about side effects on medicine and all that. So if you are interested in music and movie, these are some of the apps. But the most useful, free and useful is uh, YouTube. Netflix, you have to subscribe. I don't know how much you have to subscribe. Music, Disney Plus is good for children. If you have a lot of grandchildren coming to your place to keep them occupied, that is a very good channel. Now, if you want to know current affairs, you know, want to know what is going on, you can go to all these news channel. But be careful. Some of these new channel are channel that a bit biased uh, in the sense that they only talk one side of the story. So you have to know how to balance the information by sourcing in different direction to find out a common ground. So CGTN is a China China, ST Singapore China, CNA also today all this Singapore China, NHK Japan, LT Russian. So there are many, I just give you a few examples. Okay, the rest, like play games, Apple TV, I will explain further, Comcast, I will explain further, WhatsApp for communication, there are others also. Then uh, the other one on uh, smart home, these are some of the apps for smart home. This is the flow chart of, from the terminal point, how the equipment is connected. So from the terminal point, there is an optical cable that comes to the ONT. And the optical cable is normally a fixed length of cable provided by the provider. It's about less than two meter. And once the terminal point is fixed, that means your ONT is also fixed within two meter radius. So if your terminal is fixed, then 
your router, your wireless router, in a way is also fixed because it is not nice to have an ONT separated with the wireless router with a very long data cable. You can, technically you can, but there's a lot of losses that you already paid for. Don't forget, uh, if you buy one GP, you pay for one GP, you should get one GP at the ONT point. So if you start to add cable, and worst of all, if the cable is not of the right grade and quality, from one GP, when it comes to the wireless router, you may get maybe 800 or 700. So from the start, you already lose some of your signal strength. And below, I put the wireless DECT telephone, and I have a red arrow there on the ONT. A lot of people are not aware that when you have a broadband plan, you can also ask for a residential number. Some of the provider give you free, some charge a nominal fee. Like for mine, he charged me $4 or $5 a month. So it depends. So this DECT wireless phone is very useful. If you have a plan, a mobile plan that incoming call is free, outgoing call is chargeable. Say for example, you have 100 minutes outgoing chargeable. So how you optimize, optimize this 100 minutes? Assuming you want to talk to your wife at home, all you need to do is uh, from outside your mobile phone, tell your wife, call me back. And you use this phone that is called outgoing from your home to the mobile. You can talk for hours, it's free. So that is how this phone is useful. For outgoing call to any mobile phone that has a plan that fixed on outgoing call. Incoming call, any amount is free. So if you look at the router, you find that there are four sockets. There's one special socket and there are four sockets there. The four sockets is for you to connect a data cable to any uh, smart device. That means desktop or laptop. So here is a, a closer picture of the router. Remember the router, no doubt, is given free to you at the, at the initial time. It is considered your property. Subsequent repair or replacement is under your cost not under the provider cost. Provider only look after the ONT and TP. If ONT and TP is spoiled, they will replace one for you free of charge. If the wireless router is, is spoiled after uh, some years, you have to buy one yourself. Now, router has many grades through the years of uh, upgrading and improvement. So at the present moment, most of us are using Wi-Fi 5. And you notice Wi-Fi 5 has a code word of AC. So when you want to buy a router, you look at the box. If the box says do print AC, means it's Wi-Fi 5. If the box is say brought uh, dual band AX, that means it's Wi-Fi 6. You can get Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6 now, currently in most of the uh, a computer shop. And be careful, when you buy this type of high-grade router, you must get compatible data cable. And the compatible data cable is at least CAT6. The higher the number, the better. So you have to get CAT6 or CAT7. So this is how the manufacturer sell their product in the computer shop. Look for that. And what we are talking about when we say Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6, technically it's the speed. And now I was told the price has dropped a bit. So it's not 420, it's cheaper than 420 for Wi-Fi 5. And also you notice that router has two speed. I will talk about that later. Which speed to choose and uh, things like that. This is the AX model. The price has dropped, I think, to about four, 500 now. And you see the speed. Uh? The 5 is 4, 8, uh? 0, 4. Uh? This one is only 2, 1. Uh? So it's about twice as fast. 2, 4 is 1,000, slightly more. 2, 4 is uh, slightly 148 more. When I say 148, uh, if those uh, 
old enough, you will understand in the old days when Singtel start broadband, uh, we are actually using 30 meg only, you know. Okay, 30, 50. So when I say 148 more, uh, it's a lot, okay. Now, we talk a lot about 5G. So this is just to give you some understanding the meaning of 5G in the three different contexts. The first context is capacity. You have a 3G plan, you have a 5G mobile data plan, that is capacity. The higher the number, the more you have to pay per month. Some are unlimited, so that is capacity, data capacity. Second one, when we talk about 3G, 4G, 5G, at the present moment, our country only allowed minimum 3G. We already stopped 2G quite some years ago. So minimum is 3G. 3G, normally I call them dumb phone. You still can get it in Singapore for the old senior who are not tech savvy. It's still push button. I still have one now workable, 3G. 4G, most of us are using on iPhone and all that thing. And now they're talking about 5G. 5G is only starting to implement now. It's not completed yet. So it's no point buying 5G phone now. It's not every place will have 5G. So 4G is still the common. So that is called the generation of cellular wireless network. It's the technology, okay? And every router has two frequency, 5G and 2.4G. This is frequency because every Electronic equipment that has a frequency generator will generate certain frequency to, to, to work and to sync with their other uh, circuits. So in router, they broadcast only these two speed. The higher the speed, no, the higher the frequency, the, the, the stronger is the signal, but the shorter is the reach. So strong signal, short reach. 2.4, lesser strength, the signal is lesser strength, but wider reach. So at the moment, if your iPhone in the remote area of your house got trouble, it's good to force them to use 2.4G and you will get a better reception. Here, explain a bit more what is a wireless router. Remember, a router is a node in the whole internet network. Uh. It has an address. I give you one example. Assuming your friend from US sent you an email. Okay. So when he sent you the email, Depends on which provider you use, uh, whether Hotmail, Yahoo, or what. The email will go to a server, say for example, come to Singapore. Then they go to the street that you are living in because there's the IP address there or the email address there. And they will find which router meet that criteria. So when your laptop is on, then the message is delivered to your inbox. If your equipment is not on, your laptop is not on, it's still holding in your provider's uh, server. So once you open, all this in, incoming email will download to your laptop. So they know how to find the right router to go to, to deliver to Assuming you have two computers at home having the same address, it depends on which one starts first. That one will receive first. And the, one, the second one will also receive if you, both of them configure on the same address. So you will have two copies of the same email in two separate computers. It also helps to ensure only data for you comes through the router. I just mentioned that. Wireless means communication can be achieved without connecting a cable. So the third statement is talking about from the router, 
because your laptop is not physically connected to the router, the communication is through the wireless, the 5G or the 2.4G. And it depends on which Wi-Fi you use. Just now I told you Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6. Some communication is one way. One way means uh, assuming the two equipment, A and B. Uh, so A talk to B, then when finish, then B will talk to A. So this is uh, double the, the time. Now router is so advanced, uh, they have dual circuit, dual direction. A talk to B at the same time B talk to A. So it's very fast to, to talk and confirm to get the information. So it's a dual circuit. Now, most of the router are like that. In the old days, it's the other way around. This is an app that is very useful for you to download to your smartphone. It looks like that, the icon looks like that. So it's just a measuring device. So here I have given you some values. If I use cable to connect to my router, I get almost 1G. I got 950 Mbps. It's almost 1G. That means my modem is working well. That means the circuit from the internet come to my doorstep is perfect. If I use my iPhone, stand somewhere around the house to receive the signal, I will get 470. So there is some loss, about half, I lost half the signal. It's because wireless is a bit weaker than the cable. But according to the servicemen who come to my house to service at some time my router, he said that if you can get about 120, it's good enough for wireless. That means if your router can deliver 120, even though you have a 1G plan, if your wireless can deliver, wireless router can deliver 120, technically you no need to change the router. But if your router is less than that, then you have to think some ways to improve your Wi-Fi signal at home. La. You have to find out what is wrong, la. whether is it the router, something wrong or, or somewhere, somewhere wrong. You have to analyze the thing. La. So that is the, you can say checkpoint the serviceman told me. La. But for me, I think that 100 is good enough. La for simple communication with the internet. Then upload speed is always uh, lower than the down, download speed. But in this case, I get perfect 900 then I've, And for the, for the Wi-Fi value, I get almost the same. The first letter is the same, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes the, the upload is slower than the, the download. This is just a point of reminder Assuming you have a desktop at home and you upgrade your broadband to 1GP and you're still using your old faithful desktop with an external adapter, you are not utilizing the full capacity of the 1G broadband you have if you don't change the adapter. So if you are in that type of situation, my suggestion is go and get one AC 13,000, 1300 wireless adapter to communicate with the router. Unless your desktop have a physical data cable. Some of you have a data cable, but for those who don't have and using an adapter like what I've shown you here, make sure your adapter is compatible with the speed that you have uh, paid for. So that's a reminder on it. How to overcome weak Wi-Fi signal? So as I said just now, if at the remote end, you have difficulty in receiving the wireless Wi-Fi, try to change to the lower speed. It has a wider reach. If cannot, then you have to go further down some other advice I give further down. That is the one advice that go to a lower speed. These are three points that most likely can solve your problem. 
if you have weak signal in your house. You can relocate the TV box, but you have to pay for it because uh, the first time they come and install for you is free of charge. But you want them to redo it. Please don't say, don't say you can reconnect the cable. Uh. Optical cable is not advisable to join, okay? Not say cannot, technically can, but you, you lose a lot of signal through the joining process. So normally you have to run a new uh, optical cable from the outside uh, mushroom box. Normally it's uh, at the leaf landing to your house to the right location. So that is one way to solve the problem. Because just now I told you that the TB box determine where you put your modem and your router. And the router is the most important location to broadcast. If your router is in a very awkward position, it has to go through many walls to reach the, the, the most remote room, then too bad your signal will be very bad because every room it penetrates to, it loses some signal. Worst of all, if it is a concrete wall with a, with a iron bar inside the wall, if it's just a, a, a cardboard type of board, then maybe a bit better. So it all depends on the structure arrangement of your rooms to see where your router can penetrate the signal. The second, to overcome the, the, the transmission of the signal is to introduce a mesh Wi-Fi. It means you need to invest in some money. Right? I have example of that later on. And if you are a Singtel uh, customer, you can buy this ASCII because ASCII cannot get in the market. It's, you only can get it from Singtel. Very easy to install but you'll get from them. So you have to go there and buy it. It comes in a pair. So these are three ways you can solve your weakness, the Wi-Fi weakness. If some of the cases don't follow these three, then we have to study as a specific case to come to a tailored solution. This is to give you some example how StarHub give you the, the TV program. This is a separate price, uh, different from the broadband price. Uh, normally you have the add-on, they give you three groups of content, TV content, then, then other special program you add on. And this is how they connect, okay? So if you have one setup box which is in one room, you have a setup box in another room, then together with a monitor, then it is physically connected to this uh, StarHub switch box. They have to actually come to your house and knock some cable to it. But if you find that the cable is uh, a bit ugly in your house, you can go for a wireless solution. They have the wireless solution. This is the StarHub arrangement if you have it at home. This is for people who have a smart TV. I'm talking about how you make full use of the broadband you have at home. Huh? So these are all the examples I can think of huh? and how to connect them. Huh? So if you have a smart TV, the most ideal case is beside the router. Huh? That's the most ideal. Huh? But for whatever reason, your smart TV is not near to your wireless router, you can use the Wi-Fi method, provided your smart TV can receive Wi-Fi from the router. So when you buy the smart TV, you have to ask all these questions. Uh. Okay, you have to ask all these questions. Data cable is the best that uh. you don't have, then you have to find a Wi-Fi method. Then for the other two, it's definitely Wi-Fi have. Uh. If you have a smartphone and you have an iPad. So that is how you move around the house, connecting to the internet through the wireless router. This is another example. You buy another equipment. This Apple TV is actually a streaming box. Something like what you buy from Simlim. But what you buy from Simlim, the program are illegal. So this one is more legal. When I say illegal means uh, you buy the time, they promise you everything. You can see live football matches and everything. Maybe after one year, you don't see it. 
Then you go back to a shop, the shop will tell you, pay another one year license, you get it. So that's what I mean by, I don't know how they get it connected, but that is how the business work. Lah. Other than that, most of the channel are free. You can get it yourself. So this one, Apple TV, most of the program are paid program, but there are two apps inside that's very useful. One is a YouTube app. All the program you see is free. And the other is the TED Talk. TED Talk also is good for people who want to gain knowledge, also free. And some of them, they give you sample. So you have to experiment with it to find out whether it's worth to buy this. This Apple TV, I think about $200. So this is the way to connect. So I smartphone and uh, iPad is the same way. So Apple TV can be connected by cable, can also be connected by Wi-Fi. And uh, your, your, this one no need to be a smart TV. It can be a, any standard monitor, can be a computer monitor also. But the condition is you must have a HDMI input. That's the condition. All depends on your lifestyle and what are the equipment you have at home. If I miss out any configuration, you can ask me during Q&A. Uh, this is what I say just now I told you the mesh improvement. Uh. So this is the Google design. There are other brands in the market work as well as this Google design. So R is actually the router. It looks identical, but you see carefully, there's a lot of difference in design. So I purposely put down there R and P. So normally in a housing block flat, one R and one P is good enough. I'm talking about a housing block flat that has floor area not more than 1,200 square feet. I have done one for my friend, a condo unit, there's a 2,000, more than 2,000 square feet. So no choice, I have to get 2P, okay? Because of the room con configuration, I have to get 2P. So the configuration is up to you. 1R, 1P, or 1R, 2P, up to you. The R you must have. And remember, you cannot have two R in the same network. Uh. If originally you have one R, you have to remove that R away. You only can connect directly to the optical network terminal. You cannot connect to a, a router to a router. It won't work that way. This is what I told you just now, the, the Singtel method. The connection is similar, but it's a different brand. Uh. And this brand, they control it. They don't sell in the market. But there are similar brands like that in the market. If it works, you can also buy those brands. But if you are a Singtel uh, subscriber, just buy it. That's the best. This, this model is very good. So here I give you a suggestion. You can connect cable. Then the other one, you just buy Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is best received if you have line of sight. If you don't have line of sight, at least have some opening. Opening means uh, the door, the room of the door, the orientation. So where you put the two also matters a lot on the signal in the remote end. So room two is actually at the remote end. This one is another lifestyle con configuration where you have a smart TV, then you buy an Apple TV. Same as just now, I told you that one. But this one, here I give you some example of the thing. You can also use it. If you have a Netflix uh, a subscribe, you can also use this icon to see your Netflix program. And one thing good about Apple TV is that their graphic and sound system is very good or very high standard. So the pictures you see are all of very good quality. If you buy some other streaming box from Simlim, you compare the graphic quality and even the strength of the Wi-Fi receive and receive uh, receiving the Wi-Fi also slightly not so good. I don't know why. Maybe the circuit they use, the, the chip they use are not the same. 
So all depends on your expectation level, what you can accept, what you cannot accept. Because Apple TV, the, the box is more expensive than, than a, a streaming box. Streaming box about $100 or so. This one, as I say, is 200 something. And everything works within the, the wireless router. This one is for those people who want to set up a Google Home. If you want to try Google Home, all you need to do is to buy this $65 Google Home. And you can use it to do a lot of things. You can use it as a search engine. Just say, hey, Google, and you ask a question, they will give you the answer. Same like in your smartphone. You can use it to turn on the light, turn off the light. There are many other uses for Google Home. You can even use it to remember things for you. So, so there are a lot of possibility you can do. You can even ask it to play a song for you or, or even if you have the Chromecast uh, connected at the back of the, the smart TV, uh, you can also ask it to play any YouTube uh, program for you. So all these are set up and configuration. If you want to take some challenge to learn some more on this, uh, broadband technology. This is a very simple and good project for you to try yourself. It's only when you don't know, then you start to ask. When you start to ask and make mistakes, that's where you learn. So these are all challenges. It's up to you whether you like to take the challenge to do it. Investment is not much. 65 times $230, that's all. And you notice everything centered around the router. So the router you have at home can do a lot of wonders. Here I give you some more example using Google Home. You can even have a digital main door. You, Singapore, we don't use so much on aircon controller, but in other country, in, in temperate country, you can even ask the Google Home to, to regulate the room temperature. In any room you want to mention, say say room one, room two, or what, turn, turn the room hotter or turn the room colder, all this you can command. And all those devices can accept Google Home uh, command. Refrigerator, control, these are the future home. This is just to give you some idea that nowadays, you can put the printer anywhere you like because now printing can be done without connecting a cable to it between your laptop, desktop, or even your smartphone to the printer. You can actually print out an email from your smartphone directly from your printer. So with broadband, you can do that. And here, I just tell you, printer got two types, inkjet and laser. Laser also got color one. Inkjet normally come three in one. So this is just a graphic to show you how simple it is. Not like in the old days, you have no place to put a printer, then you, you have to buy a very long cable to connect it. Now you don't need. Now everything goes through the wireless router. This one still practiced by most people. What actually happened is most of us, if we have a laptop, we always back up with an external drive. That is the most common and basic way. But Apple comes up with an Apple time capsule that you can buy from the Apple store. And if you have a Mac Pro, they have a program configured in such a way that there's an icon in your laptop that after a day's work, just click on it. It will start to back up everything you have done on that day. So it, as simple as that. And say, for example, you, you accidentally deleted an Excel file away uh, where you have done many hours of work. Uh, and you don't want to repeat to put all those data entry inside again. Huh? 
your help is uh, on the Apple capsule. You can retrieve the last copy that you have saved. So at least you, you only lose some data, you don't lose all. That is provided you, you, you just make a careless mistake like that you deleted the file away. So this Apple capsule is very useful. I recommend for people who are studying in a university, when they do a lot of projects, a lot of graphic, and uh, even write that doctorate uh, thesis and all that, to have it back up in this way. Very convenient. But you still can use the old-fashioned way of an external drive, like plug in, plug out, and all that. Like. It still can be done. And you notice also centered through the router. Now, this is actually my example of my corner, my internet corner. My investment is less than $500. A computer monitor less than $200. Apple TV box about $200. And at the back, one simple uh, sound system, $50. And I can sit anywhere I like. I can connect to the internet, anything I want whether I want to listen to a song or listen to a talk or what. You can put anywhere you like that nobody can disturb you. So, so that the reason is because you have broadband at home. So I am giving you all the example how to enjoy life even after retirement. There are many ways you can enjoy life. Dep depend on your interests, okay? And here, I can also put my photo album inside. You know why I'm saying that? Because you can join a cloud company. I joined one called Flickr, I think. At the moment, I think I have more than 13,000 pictures inside. So if anybody wants to find one picture, or they, my, 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 my close relative circle, all they need to do is ring me. I just go to the cloud and sit at this corner. I can search for them, the picture. And once I search it, I can download the copy. I can even print for them or give them a soft copy, they print themselves. Go, uh, on the thumb drive, they print themselves. So these are lifestyle you can use to support your family who want to get something and then you have a database. Not store in your computer, eh? store in somebody's computer. Yeah, definitely you have to pay some uh, service charge. Uh, yeah. So this is one example how you can do using broadband at home. Now, I think Initially, the librarian has mentioned to you, I have a close private club. And this private club is called Harborfront Community Group. And the icon is just a housing estate. So at the present moment, I have 135 members. Initially, I have 136. This morning, one of them, SOS me, said that his Facebook is hacked and he's so scared he uh, deleted everything and uh, signed out of Facebook. So I have no choice to remove her away. But what I'm trying to say is that it's good if you have some problem, screenshot the problem to me, I can help you to solve. Rather than once you get a problem, you just delete away and lose the opportunity of using Facebook again. So this is a Facebook, Facebook special group, uh, interest group. So this is some of the objective I have in mind for people who are members. And if you want to the, be a member, you search for this group and don't please click join because you will click join and put your name, Mary Tan. I don't know Mary Tan is a male or a female in the internet. So normally I would wish you introduce yourself. At least give me your full name and mobile number and, and the rest of the thing. And I even give an email address. You can write all this through the email address to me or you can clarify further with me before you join. But just don't join and put Mary Tan and forget everything. Like that, you will not be accepted because I don't know who you are. I think that's all. I have 